Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will uh, try to show you how you can de-click the Asahi Super Takuma and it's a uh, 50mm 1.4 and it's the 7 element version yeah here it is this nice little gem um, and it's uh, it's good for video, but it has the annoying click. Eh, not good for video. Now, so how I, uh, I've been into the lens uh, and take a look how it can be done. And it's quite easy. So uh, let's go into it. It will not be that hard. And you can always restore the lens back to normal without any scratch or something i mean unless those i set in here but you can always restore the lens uh, to normal because you only take out one steel ball so let's get into it with a rubber tool this is a, a rubber gasket from the hardware store plumbing section it's really good because it's really sticky you can always uh, use those if you have them the famous cone and we also need a tweezer 21 is good and a 1.8 millimeter screwdriver flathead and a 1.2 millimeter flathead screwdriver so let's jump into it and take a look the one thing we start with is remove I mean unscrew the nameplate And it can sit tight, so this is why it's so good with those uh, uh, rubber gasket because they're very sticky. I mean, compared to other tools and uh, rubber thingy tools, those are very cheap, and uh, you can get them in many different sizes for a low price. Now over the nameplate, and. Before we continue, set a mark down here, both on the front ring and on the uh, edge of the uh, the lens uh, housing, uh, we say. It's good because it will help you when uh, putting things back together, because the aperture has to sit in the correct position. If not, you will uh, have to adjust it and uh, then find out uh, where was it hmm. now next thing is unscrew the three screws it will say this one uh, this one here there you see there are two of them but only this one and this one for now and We'll do it with a 1.8 millimeter screwdriver. So it's good with a magnetized screwdriver. So there, out oh, with that. And the last one. So now off with the plate, I mean the name ring, and uh, well you could set it to near end to have a better grip, then pull it out. Oh, did I take the wrong screw? No. Just have to wriggle, wriggle it out and then it's free. So you see, uh, how to figure out where the screws has to sit I put the the ring or whatever it could be uh, with the screws inside so I know exactly where they should be when I assemble it again it will make it easier now we need to set another mark uh, because it will make it a lot more easy to you especially uh, 
if we look at the aperture it has to sit correct so if it was correct when you disassembled the lens well it has to sit correct also when you assemble it again so that's why it is so important to set a mark here it will say just need a pointy tool set a mark here and also a mark here before you take out the three screws that's important so when we have done that uh, we simply unscrew the three screws this one this one and this one And remember where they sit not here but here and if you just to keep in mind of okay where do they have to sit you can just make a scratch here just a little one and there and also there so now you know where those screws for the lens block the lens assembly sits and before doing so set the aperture to 16 as you see here set it to 16 and another thing that I have to mention just so we know it uh, set the lens to infinity right because then we have to make another scratch down here it will say down here in line I mean the focusing ring has also to sit correct so setting a mark down here on the uh, brass uh, part and also on the inner edge of the focusing ring because I need to take out the focusing ring uh, to make this uh, <laughs> uh, conversion and uh, therefore the focusing ring has to sit uh, correct also when I put it back in again so now we uh, take out the the lens block lens assembly and everything is uh, correct set to 16 infinity and then we can just go there out with that mm -hmm. so that's fine and the last one so why it is so important to set the uh, the mark for the lens block is when you turn it I mean turn the lens assembly you will probably see okay it can be moved so if you do not set the mark correct before you take the lens assembly out you will have a wrong aperture even if you do I mean I can just set it to something like uh, aperture 8 well uh, it will not be correct or if I set it to something even 4 or so it can probably not uh, come uh, all the way to 16 so this is why it is so important to set mark where the where the lens assembly was originally so now I can take it out um, and for that I can just use if you have a, a um, lens sucker like this could be good to do that just uh, be sure there is no something scratch here but you put it on and then you can pull hopefully you can pull out the whole assembly and this is how it is now the aperture 16 is all the way over to here if you look here see 
this is 16 and this is full open so put it there as um, 16 so next thing is off with the uh, focusing ring there are also three screws in here out with those And the last one. Now, before taking it apart, be sure it is stay on infinity. And then the last screw. There. And out with the with the um, focusing ring. Nothing special. You see it has the stop inside here all the way there is a cutout all the way over to here and the stopper screw is right here we, didn't, we do not need to take that out now the thing is we need to unscrew the uh, the index ring here and then pull off the uh, I mean just uh, a little um, just push it a little forward and right under here there is the steel ball so we need to just loosen three screws it will say this one this one and this one just loosen them and with the 1.2 millimeter flathead screwdriver just loosen them a little not more than this just a few turn and that's it and the last one you see I uh, set a mark here where the focusing ring and the uh, and the inner but it, it should it should not be a problem but you see they sit in line with the index mark here now the last one so that's it and then take care only pull out in the uh, index ring there can be a lot of dirt in here which is also the case here so that's it and you see the uh, the screw here right where underneath on under the uh, 16 here in line with the mark there sits the steel ball so Keep a finger over here so it will not, not just spring off there you have it now it's here and then you can gently pull it out with the um, with the tweezer or so so very easy and now the lens is declick. You can then put it on again and uh, see the lens is actually working as a declick um, lens. So let's see how it will work. You see the arm here for that activates the aperture in the lens block is uh, spring loaded so it will always put back the the aperture pin here on the lens assembly so that's it 
then I can just uh, put things back in again. And since we have our mark or the way in here, I know exactly where they should sit. You see the screw, the, the holes, not holes, but the marks where the set screw has sit is uh, the correct place. But uh, we have the index mark over the screw. So there is no problem with that. Just put it on and then uh, see, okay, where does the set screw sit? And then we can tighten the three screws again. Just gently. Well, there was one thing uh, I was thinking about. If, uh, if you want to have the more stiffness in the aperture ring, uh, you could use some silicone grease, I think, would be fine. Let's see, uh, yeah, okay. There are two screws that hold the, uh, that actually move the aperture. So, and they sit uh, 180 degree from each other. You say one there and one there. So in in a way you can actually position the aperture ring in the the opposite direction, I guess. Maybe it's possible. Yeah, you can. So if you want to see the <laughs> the aperture ring in the opposite way, you can do that. But hmm. Yeah, you can, but uh, it's not the case here. But you can just use some silicone grease, silicone grease, that to make it more stiff. Uh, I guess it will work. I haven't tried. So we can just put it on again at the sixteen. So and the index ring. And it sits where it should, the screw. Then at the, I mean, tighten the small set screws that they should, not too much. Oh, sorry. There. And the last screw. So now it's. Uh, is de-clicked in a very simple way. Now put it back to 16 again and then add the uh, the lens block, the lens assembly. And you see the pin is here and the fork is down here. Oh gosh. <laughs> and this uh, fork that it has to go through just like this here, it sits where. Now put it on and we hopefully is fine again. Since I also have a mark here and my mark there, there should be no problem with that. Then slide it in, that's it. So how should it work? Hmm. Yeah, without any problem you now have a declicked uh, Super Taguma. So uh, we just need to align the mark here for the lens uh, assembly. As you can see there, just have to move a little. But my mark is there, so everything should be fine. I can then add the, the three screws. And since I also set a mark where they should sit, there shouldn't be any problem with that. The problem can be to catch the thread. Mm -hmm. There. So going a little backward, uh, it's uh, sometimes the most easy way to 
catch the thread on those tiny screws. And there should be there. Tighten it gently. And the last screw here. Mm -hmm. ah. See, it can be a problem. <laughs> Where was it here? Mm -hmm. Going a little backward. Yeah, it says click. It's a good thing. So, and now on with the uh, the focusing ring. And since I also set a mark on the the focusing inner focusing ring. Uh, inner helicoid. I know exactly where it should sit. And by the way, if you want to to uh, fine tune, I mean, uh, what you say, uh, make uh, adjustment for a a different camera, uh, you can always do it because you can just turn the the uh, focusing helicoid and get the lens to at least closer to the sensor. But for now, I will just uh, do it as the mark. Tell me. The in infinity mark is there, so I can just put it on here. And everything should be lined up perfect. See, you can, you can uh, use the focusing ring to just move the inner helicoid and then lift it up a little and uh, have the infinity shown correct depending on what camera you have. But uh, so there should be there in line with the mark. Lift it up and put the focusing ring on infinity. So now everything is lined up again, and then I can just add the three screws that hold the the uh, focusing ring. You see, sometimes it, it goes wrong. Now, better take it off again, and then we start over. So putting on the, of course it should have been the holes down here on the <laughs> focusing. <laughs> yeah, well, on with the uh, focusing ring. So, and it's, it's, there the mark is perfect. So we just try again. So there, fine. Don't tighten it too much. And then the next one. So there, and the last. Oh gosh, where did it go? And it comes in here. So now the uh, focusing ring is working as it should. And then <laughs> this ring comes on. And since I have my mark here, which I said in the beginning, it should be in line with this. 
and everything should be lined up perfectly. So there, with the three longer sc screws here. Mm -hmm. Don't tighten it yet because uh, the holes are really tight fit. No, oh, it's actually working fine. The last one. Screw here. We put on and then we are done. <laughs> With a different lens. This is the clicked. So there. Just need this one here. So. And now. Everything is fine. Just need to put on the name plate. And uh, has to say click when you're going backward. Click there and then screw it in. Remember, it's aluminium. So, so now I have a declicked uh, Super Takuma. And uh, let's see, to 16 and then without any click noise. So it's actually working as it should. But you see, you can use some uh, more thick grease as for the, for the, uh, you see, it's quite loose at the moment, but it's better to use some stiffer grease, maybe silicone, I don't know. But that's all for me. Uh, then I have uh, remember the steel ball if you want to have the click back in the lens again. So that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.